Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to determine the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x. So we're going to let y equal that function, the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x, and therefore we can say that x must therefore equal the hyperbolic tangent of y, and of course the tangent is defined as the sine of the cosine, same for the hyperbolic functions, and then when we write it into its basic form, it becomes e to the y minus e to the negative y divided by e to the y plus e to the negative y. So therefore, x becomes equal to that. And then to find the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x, we want to go ahead and solve this equation for y. So what we're going to do first is cross multiply. We're going to write this as x times e to the y plus e to the negative y and set that equal to what we have on the numerator there which is e to the y minus e to the negative y. And again since we have both e to the y and e to the negative y we probably can make it simpler by multiplying both sides of that equation by e to the y. So let's go ahead and do that. So e to the y on the right side and e to the y on the left side which means on the left side we end up with x times e to the 2y plus e to the y times e to the negative y is simply 1 equals on the right side we get the same thing here we get e to the 2y minus and then again this times this becomes equal to 1. So now we can more easily isolate the terms with the y in it first let's multiply things out so we get x times e to the 2y plus x is equal to e to the 2y minus 1. Move all the terms with the y to the left side, so we get x times e to the 2y minus e to the 2y is equal to, when we bring this across, we get minus x minus 1. And let's see here, at this point we can factor out a, um, e to the 2y, so we get e to the 2y times x minus 1 is equal to minus x minus 1. And then of course we can move the x minus 1 to the other side and we get the following. At that point we end up with e to the 2y is equal to minus x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. And now we don't like those negatives in the numerator so I'm going to multiply the numerator times the negative 1 and I'm going to do the same to the denominator. So we can write e to the 2y is equal to, that becomes x plus 1 divided by 1 minus x. And then instead of writing as x plus 1, we might as well write as 1 plus x to have it in the same form. So e to the 2y is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. And now we take the natural log of both sides. So we take the natural log of e to the 2y is equal to the natural log of the quantity 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. And that means that 2y is equal to the natural log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. And finally, we can say that y is equal to 1 half times the natural log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. And that then, since y is equal to the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x and y is equal to this, we can then finally conclude that therefore the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x must equal what we have over here, which is 1 half times the natural log of, we have 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. And this here is now our new expression for the inverse hyperbolic hyperbolic tangent of x. And so we can see then later, once we have an expression for that, we can then also find the derivative and the equivalent integral. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that as well.